going on everybody it's your boy t diggy and today we're gonna talk about this big ass pimple that's been living on my forehead for like the past week <laughs> no but seriously we're on our way to go do my first solo flight on this aircraft that we've been fly flying for like a month now it's pretty exciting um it's kind of like that first time you drove your car right when you were like 13 or 14 or something like that and then you were able to just like hop in the driver's seat and then and your and your and your parents kind of like let you practice around the parking lot or something like that it feels a lot like that except now it's uh in an airplane <laughs> so um hopefully i don't crash but we'll see what happens i'm kind of nervous man Ooh, for solo baby Let's do it. And IFS is complete. Just finished my solo. That was so exhilarating, man. I, oh my God, the adrenaline is pumping because you're by yourself and you're just like going out there, just like you gotta just do what you just do what you were taught. And it was like it was crazy. I felt I felt really good. Um, so after after you finish your your solo, the tradition is uh, uh, as you guys saw, we got our, our t-shirts that we were wearing. We got it. We got the back of our t-shirts cut. And uh, basically, we just write on there our name, how many landings or whatever, how many hours we flew, and stuff like that during this this entire uh, during the entire course of IFS. And um, basically, uh, what what my roommate Jason told me was uh, the tradition started because uh, back in the day when uh, they they used to teach student pilots and stuff, um, they didn't really have any like mechanism to like to like guide the student pilot because the student pilot would sit in the front where and the instructor would be right behind them and they didn't have any other mechanism besides tugging on the student pilot's shirt in order to kind of communicate with them and tell them like oh you gotta you gotta pull up or you gotta you gotta do this do that and they just had to tug on him uh in order to let him know um because he was right behind him and basically once you complete your solo that means like you're you're uh kind of like a full-fledged uh, pilot and you can you can you can fly on your own and stuff like that and you don't need somebody there tugging on the back of your shirt uh, and so basically what they do is they cut they cut the back of the shirt just to, just to symbolize that uh, they don't need they don't need that guidance anymore um, so it was pretty cool we got our shirts cut um, 
uh, got, got a coin from Salt Air uh, and, and it was cool, it feels good. So now uh, the next step for us is to move on uh, to the next phase of flight school, which is API. Um, I think we'll maybe get like a week or two off um, just to kind of uh, kind of wait for that. But API is the next challenge. It gets harder and harder, you know what I'm saying? So, whew, like I said, feels good. Let's go home and eat. I'm hungry, baby. Let's go.